Hey guys, this is Land, and today we'll be talking about spatial disorientation. In the body, there are three systems that tell us or tell the brain how we move in three-dimensional space. So, or if we're moving in three-dimensional space. Right? Uh, the first of those systems is the vestibular system up in your inner ear. Um, that system consists of three uh, uh, rings or semilunar canals. These are oriented in such a way that you can consider them uh, as the gyroscope. Uh, they kind of orient themselves in an X, Y, and Z fashion. In each ring, there's a uh, semi-viscous fluid that when movement happens, or when you start moving, this fluid will move along in that, in that particular axis. This fluid will stimulate some hair follicles that are in there. Those hair follicles translate that movement into electrical impulses that are thus sent to your brain. And that's what your brain interprets as acceleration or I'm, I'm starting to move now, right? The second system is the somatosensory system. The somatosensory system uh, consists of nerve endings in your bones, your muscles, all over your body, right? So it senses body position. I'm, I know that I'm sitting down because my, uh, the, the nerve endings on my back and my legs are saying that I'm sitting down. Like I can feel the seat cushions, right? I know I'm standing up whenever I, uh, when I, I know I'm standing up whenever I stand up because those nerve endings are saying that, hey, we're standing up now. The third and most crucially important for pilots is the visual sense, the eyes. You cover up your eyes, you don't know really where you're going or what you're seeing. These three systems work in tandem, work in conjunction, whenever, or any type of movement that we do. So let's translate this to flying. I can see that I'm in the air. When I look outside and look down, hey, we're flying, right? Um, on takeoff, you push the throttle forward, you feel that acceleration. That's the, uh, that's the semilunar canals detecting motion, detecting acceleration. When they've had time to not move anymore or when, they're, uh, when the end of the lift stops moving, that's when you don't feel acceleration anymore, like at cruise altitude, right? When we're up at cruise altitude, we're just, it just feels like we're sitting there, like nothing's moving because we don't have any acceleration in the, the, the semilunar canals. Okay, so now we'll tie it into spatial disorientation. Like I said before, the visual sense is the most important for pilots. We gotta see where we're going. The problem becomes when we take away the, the, those visual cues, like when we fly into a cloud or like when we fly at night, right? The, the, the visual cues that we need to see aren't there, okay? So now the brain, is, the brain will start to get confused about movement. So if we're flying straight and level, we, uh, the body might sense that we're in a turn, right? Because we can't see anything outside to say that we're straight level or in a turn. Or we can be in a turn and the uh, body or the brain might think that we're straight and level, right? So what, what, how that can be dangerous is for inexperienced pilots, they think that they're in a turn when they're really straight and level. So they'll want to go straight and level, except now they've actually put themselves in a turn. It could exacerbate more and more and they're trying to correct, they're trying to chase the, chase to make their body feel correct, if that makes sense. While the while not looking at their instruments and now they put themselves in a really dangerous situation, which is why with new pilots, or at least with private pilots, we practice um, simulated instrument unusual attitudes so that trust we get them from the get-go to trust their instruments. In, in instrument training, they'll be flying mostly with foggles, and that's so that we train them to trust their instruments. I mean, G1000s are pretty, pretty reliable instruments, so to get them to overcome their body's natural inclination to straighten itself, I guess, if you want to call it, if you want to put it like that, if I'm starting to feel spatially disoriented, look, look at the instrument panel, make sure that you don't 
put the airplane in a dangerous spot. Uh, so if you guys have any questions about this or anything related to aviation, please leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to get back to you.